Well, Mark, did you expect that? Um, I don't want to sound arrogant, definitely don't, okay? But we knew I had a plan. And we knew really getting through the first half hour of that, if we get through half an hour of that, you've got a chance. And it's all like it's always to stay in the game with that plan. You can even probably afford to go 1-0 down with a game plan like that because you're always looking to nick one. And then you'll always be in that game last 15, 20. Obviously, it went better than probably even we could have hoped for. I would agree with that. But uh, we didn't think it was impossible. No, uh, 11 heroes out, well, 14 heroes out there. Um, I think particularly the debutant. Uh, yeah, obviously it's easy for me to say because I've worked with Mitchell before, yeah, yeah. Um, but he was absolutely sensational. I mean, no centre half's getting a rest with him when he's in that sort of mood. Um, his little layoff for the second goal was top draw the way he spun the defender. I mean, full of energy you, as well. Yeah, and you're, you're talk, you know, we could sit here and talk about, but Stockton are a top, top side. Hey, we're, not, we're not talking yeah. about just any average Northern League players. We're talking about some of the best ones, and he's uh, he's done really, really well. And he's given with that outlet. I mean, obviously the game plan without somebody like Mitchell up front is harder to. Um, produce but uh, today obviously with him there it was absolutely perfect he was the right man for the job yeah absolutely is there any hope of having him there on a regular basis um, I would say no that's not uh, on the option at the moment but obviously he's signed on we do have a lot of midweek games and stuff so I think there's a there's a discussion we had about whether he's available for a little bit more often and it'll help him as well because it'll get him fitter and stuff like that because believe it or not that's a Mitchell who hasn't played loads of regular games this season so yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know he's got more to come from that mm -hmm. speaking of the League Cup I think most of us sort of written this off with just one point from what we thought would be three games Yeah. but all of a sudden we're back in the mix. I believe West Allotman won tonight as well. Right, I mean, that'll mean they're through the I should imagine, just about. Yeah, they're the boats, points, yeah, yeah, so they're, they're, they're there. Um, I think when we never wanted to underestimate this competition, but with having a big squad of 28, you know we've rotated it for the previous games. And again against Esch, with a little bit more quality in the final third, we may have got a, a result, you know. I don't think we're, you know, we're far away. But tonight we've put out a strong performance, a strong team, and that leaves with the decision to go to Ashington away and try and get something potentially and qualify for the next round, which would be nice. And a, a bit of a surprise, but excellent. Um, but the bread and butter of Brandon United, a very important game, although the obviously the Tau Law win helped, but our form here in the league has been a little bit stuttery. Yeah, but we've got to take a lot from tonight and know that absolutely. you know it's absolutely possible. Um, we'll, we'll look at last Saturday, the first half. I, I agree with what Tony said after the game. He said it was probably the best we'd been. I know we won 6 0 at Chester Lee Street, and it sounds daft to say that, but I really do think that first half was really, really good at Taolo. Um, and we've got to take confidence. Two clean sheets in a row again. So oh, back, to the, back to the point yeah. where you know we went from clean sheets early on the season to conceding two or three. Mm -hmm. that, that was the difference in winning games and not winning games. So we're back on. On, the, uh, on top of that and I think uh, we'll take a lot of confidence in the game but one thing's for sure it's already been said in there there's no way we're going to afford to underestimate anybody in the second division because you never get an easy game and you never know what's coming Esch came here in the league and we're unlucky not to take all three points yeah, just a couple of weeks ago so yeah. we've got to be at it again Absolutely. Well, a terrific night. I'll let you get back to the lads and uh, celebrate yes, a well-earned victory. Want to be enjoyed. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.